I can't walk up and down the stairs anymore like I used to. Doing pretty much everything is a challenge. But you don't realize how strong you are until you're dealing with something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking to make Girls Chronically Rock into a movement and an empire. Yeah, I don't know what my legs is gonna do. So sometimes, yeah, I lift them up. Ooh. So that's one leg. Hey Good girl, morning. hey. <laughs> How are you? Yes. Every day I wake up, it's like, you don't know what the body's gonna feel like or what it's gonna do. If it's gonna be a feel tired, or I'm gonna be like, oh my goodness, or if I'm gonna feel strong, like, ooh, oh yeah, I can do this. Uh, Alexa, turn off bedroom lights. Hey, Alexa, turn off bedroom lights. Okay, sometimes she doesn't listen. I can't like say raise my right arm out to say like give you a handshake or properly give you a hug. Even maybe just eating like trying to lift up with the fork. That's difficult to you know lift up and down. When I'm putting on mascara I always have to use this hand. I, I can't like raise my right arm on its own to get it up, so I always have to use the left as support to get it in position. I wasn't diagnosed with muscular dystrophy until I was in graduate school. I started to get like really weird symptoms of repeatedly falling, like my leg would just kind of like give out. So I just thought, oh, I need to lose some weight, no big deal, kind of brushing it off. I noticed like just raising my right arm, like things was just off. So my mom was like, let's go see an orthopedic. I got several testing guns, MRI, EKG, EMG. Every test you can think of, I probably have taken. And so when the muscle biopsy came back, they said, um, you have limb girdle muscular dystrophy. I was just, you know, total in denial. Like, you know, not really telling friends, not telling family. That took like maybe about a few years to honestly accept. All of my muscles are pretty much weak and it has progressed over the years, so it does progress over time. I'm a TV fanatic. I watch everything, I record everything. Every single day I watch like the Jersey Shore, the daytime talk shows, Wendy Williams. Um, and yes, and I love the Kardashians too. <laughs> I know some people don't, but I like them. It wasn't until the day I wrote my first blog where I was like actually typing it, saying it out loud. And I'm like, oh wow, I have muscular dystrophy. Sometimes it's even hard to sometimes hold the camera, but I make it work. Well, good thing I have the table to lean on. She's a very determined person. She's that kind of person. If she wants something, she don't want it today. She want it like yesterday. <laughs> and look at me and Izzy Brenda. Yeah. Uh, that looks like old country buffet. <laughs> oh yeah, look at John. Keisha growing up, very fashionable. I was lying in my bed one night and I thought, hey, Girls Chronically Rock. And then I'm like, oh, I kind of like the name of that. And then I kind of just ran with it. Girls Chronically Rock got started because I always had a passion for fashion. Wrap it in, yeah, with the t-shirts. Just so when they open it, they're like, ah. <laughs> and hopefully they're excited. I always love to wear graphic t-shirts with different sayings, different colors. So I thought, oh, why not come out with a t-shirt line to share my story with Bring Disability Awareness. A lot of people, tell me that too on social media when they read my story, they're like, I didn't even heard of muscular dystrophy. See how like these are like orders that will come through. I reached out to a graphic designer and she helped me create the logos. I told her like what colors and designs I would like. That's when everything came together. I recently added a kid's collection. Yeah, if it wasn't for social media, like people probably wouldn't have known of Girls Chronically Rock. I've connected with a lot of people, especially the messages sometimes I receive of people saying, oh my God, I love what you're doing. So that definitely makes me feel like happy and warm. <laughs> hey, I tried. You're gonna get a burger. Do you like chicken wings? Yes. Because I'm obsessed. I at least want to start off with those. We actually met online through Facebook, the magic of the internet. I knew immediately 
when um, I started seeing her posts and what she shared that I wanted to be her friend. I was diagnosed with MS, multiple sclerosis, about three and a half years ago. And there's no shame in like talking about it or going to a doctor or therapy or medication, yeah. whatever you need to do, you know? She just seemed so outgoing and so honest and, and vulnerable, but like positive and also fun um, with living with her condition and doing such cool things for her community and I love wearing my shirt. I wear it all the time, I get a ton of compliments on them. When I wear it, like, I feel like people know, mm -hmm. like they, they're, they're, at least they feel like you can, they can have a conversation with you about it, you know? I think it's a great way to show that like, people with chronic illness are regular people. Like, our lives are different, but we can still have fun. I'm looking to make Girls Chronically Rock into a movement and an empire and, you know, just to create awareness of disability community. It makes other people with chronic illness feel like they're not alone, and that is critical. She is chronically ill badass, for sure. I would say I'm pretty tough and strong. I don't realize how strong you are until you're dealing with something. So, yes, I may have taken some time to get used of this muscular dystrophy. I was able to share my story, so... I'm a believer in that, like everything will happen for a reason. I'm hoping Girls Currently Rock will be in Target, Macy's, local boutiques, 34th Street in Manhattan, all over the place. I think that's pretty much everything. <laughs> <laughs>